One of the country's largest sporting goods re retailers has made a big announcement in response to the Parkland shooting. The major changes are coming from Dick Sporting Goods. Here's uh, Sandra Mitchell has details for us at certain stores. Yes, at, at certain stores, Dick's will no longer be selling these assault style rifles. Pretty unusual for a company that sells guns to make such a bold move. All right, here's the deal. The company's already stopped selling that type of gun at its Dick's brand stores, but now uh, they stopped that after the Sandy Hook school shooting. And now they're going to stop selling those guns at their 35 field and stream stores as well. There aren't any of those stores here in California. The closest one is in Oregon. The company also has stopped selling high capacity magazines. Big change there. And it won't sell any guns to anyone under 21 years old. Dick's CEO, Edward Stack, did some TV interviews this morning, and he had a startling revelation about the Parkland massacre. We actually sold the shooter a shotgun in, uh, in November of last year. And we looked at that and found out that we did this. We had a pit in our stomach, and we know there's going to be some backlash. And those kids talk about enough is enough, and we had meaningful conversations about this with our, our team, and we concluded that if these kids are brave enough to organize and do what they're doing, then we should be brave enough to take the stand. When he talked about the shooter, he was talking about the gunman in the Florida school shooting. In California, you can't buy an AR-15 unless you are law enforcement with special permission. That was a law that went into effect last year, and you might remember there was a rush to buy the rifles in the months before the ban. It's not the first time that big companies have stepped in, changed their strategy because of outrage about guns. It was four years ago after a deadly shooting at a church in South Carolina that Walmart stopped selling assault weapons.